Hey bro, we're getting a new drug. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the Nano Channel. I am Dano and I'm back from my... Yeah, no, they, look, they're excited. He even interrupt. Go, say your piece. Do what you gotta do. They're excited because we got a new droid. We got an SK620 droid from the Galactic Star Cruiser. And it's time that we take a look at it. Here it is. There. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. It's not really not that one. I did get that one, of course. But we're talking about this one. Oh, hit myself in the face. Big one. Chandrila Starline SK620, the $100 droid. Now, this one is just like the Droid Depot droids. Exact same functions and everything. So let's uh, let's take a look at the outside of the box. Okay, here we have them in the box. Big, huge Droid Depot size droid. Interactive remote control droid. Not for children under three. Chandrila Starline. My box got a little banged up in transit, as you can see. I had to ship it home. I did not bring it home myself. I did already open it, but I did want to show you the outside of the box. Kind of plain, just a little bit of artwork there on the sides. Uh, what is the very back? So, ooh, it already popped open. Chandrila Starline SK620. Interactive remote control droid. All different droids populate the galaxy. Each droid is different and has their own unique personality and colors. SK620 is the cruise director's friendly and true trusty assistant on the Halcyon Star Cruiser. Light and sound effects. Controller, activate. Do all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personality chip port. No, it does not come with a personality chip. It says personality chips and accessories are sold separately. Colors may vary. But yeah, it's basically... There's a little side panel there. Oh, there's a little thing here. This droid uses Bluetooth tech to communicate with other astromech droid units. Yep, you guys. And the Droid Depot mobile app. So it does work with the app and other certain elements and objects around Batu, Disney parks, and resorts. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Anything on the bottom? Just kind of battery info. Nothing too crazy. Let me see if I can get a decent shot of what's over here. Bluetooth. There's a six triple A's, six double A's, two triple A's. Yeah. 99.99, and that's it. So now that the box is already open, I'm just going to take them all the way out, and you guys can see what's up. So one thing I did want to show you real quick is the background. You couldn't really see it from when I was filming it, but the background does have this kind of cool looking wall with the Chandrila Starline logo all over it. I like that. I think that's kind of a neat touch. Okay, so right off the bat, one of the biggest differences I see as I take it out of the box is the remote. Now, yeah, no, it's a different, it's a different remote. So take a look. This is the new SK620 remote. Looks the same, right? But this is a normal Droid Depot one. I guess the color, you can see in the coloring, the blues are different, the reds are different, just the button colors are different. Um, they're both white. Yeah, they're both white. It's just that the button colors are a little different. Orange and blue versus this deeper red and blue on the other one. So let's get them turned on. It does have the same button function as the other one. In fact, you know what? Let's do the pairing mode. Let's do that. Let me make sure you turned on. Turn them on. Let's do pairing mode. It'll hold that till it blinks. A little button down there. It's flashing, it's blinking. My remote, I believe, should be in the off position. And I'm gonna hold these top two buttons. I think he's gonna do the pairing thing. Whoa! He's already paired, so he wouldn't do the, the animation. Yeah, yeah, he's already paired, so he just took off. So he does work like a normal Droid Depot droid. Fast, very fast head. Look at that. Some of my other ones are a little slow, just from the first ones. Um, he does have the forwards, backwards kind of configuration left and right and he works exactly the same like literally exactly the same the only main difference in this droid is droid, is droid. oops what did i lose i lost the light panel um is the colors really just the colors are the only big difference that i'm seeing the panels are specific colors the head is a different mold that's i guess the biggest difference is the head's a different mold but otherwise you know, other than the paint job, it's the same same droid as the Droid Depot droid. Now, I'm sure you guys want to hear... So I can flip him. How about the droid sock? It has the same thing, the little panel on the inside, these little droid socks, as we call them. It's taped. You can untape it and paint the inside if you want to do such a thing. I don't think I'm going to be weathering this one. Um, no. no. Now, notice the sounds. Yeah, it does kind of sound like R2-D2, doesn't it? Those are R2 sounds. Okay. So, 
so he does just cycle through the R2-D2 sounds. Now, I'm going to... Yeah, kind of weak, right? I'm going to put on the jetpack. I took uh, S4D's jetpack, and I'm going to put that on just to make sure that makes the same noises. Yep. You guys can see the jetpack works. Nothing too crazy there. All right, let's try out the uh, blaster. Yeah, of course you like the blaster. Of course you like the blaster. Oh, wrong button. Am I... Is it not lighting up? It's not lighting up. Why is it not lighting up? Do I have it in... It feels like it's not perfectly on there. That's a better feel. Now it lights up, so it wasn't aligned properly. But it does light up, as you can see. Cool, just... So the accessories definitely work the same as they would with any other droid. Of course, the panels are the same as the other droid. But really, that's it. That's like, it does not have a personality chip inside. I could put one in there if I had an extra one. I actually don't have an extra one right now. They're all in use. I have all six. We've got one, two, three, four, five, math, six, seven. There's a droid right up here, seven. Then I've got one on the other side of the hutch. Eight droids total. My goodness, I have too many droids. That is a lot of droids. Now, one thing I do want to show you guys is just some close-ups, but I also want to compare it to the action figure one because I did notice a big difference between this SK and the SK action figure version. Okay, so we do have our SK, and I, I like this. I like the head. Like, oh, I didn't mean to hit that all the way. I meant to do this one, the head. <laughs> he moves so fast. Like, just for comparison's sake on how quick that moves, let's pick up Sad's. And let's see how quick Sad moves. Oh, okay, you do your thing. Look how slow that is. So slow. And, you know, it's not a battery issue. That's just kind of how this one works. It's kind of weird. But then you go over. <laughs> so huge difference. And real quick, here's a look under the dome. It's the same as all the other droids. See? Now, one of the things I noticed on the front is actually on this panel where the personality chip is. Uh, while it does look correct, like if you look at the artwork, that all looks correct, right? That looks good compared to the artwork on the action figure panel. All of that matches up, except for when you look at the figure, look at that little fast, not fast pass, but the, um, the little emblem right there. See that, the little emblem? That emblem is actually a Magic Band touch point, and you can see that emblem on the Magic Band they give you for Star Cruiser. This is my Galactic Star Cruiser Magic Band, M-Band. There it is. And that's a little touch point on the droid normally. So this $99 one does not come with that. It is not entirely accurate as far as that kind of thing goes. Um, the other part is the secondary light that lights up is this little tiny thing. And they're both blue. Interesting, right? Uh, does this swivel around? This does swivel around a little bit and move. Do these pop out or come down? No, those are those are pretty steadily on there. They do not pop out or come out. I do like them though. I think that's a really cool, like different look. But overall, I mean, it's the same kind of droid that we've seen before in these Droid Depot droids. We can pop these panels out. We can open these things up. It does have little ports for all the accessories. So if I wanted to take one of these little accessories from the accessory kit, I can kind of place that in there. There you go. They all do work. And there's another set in here of three different ports. And then right in here in the center is another. If I can open it without knocking them over. Come on, there we go. There's one more little port right there that you can put these little accessories in. Um, one thing a lot of people don't usually realize is this foot, the way it comes out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay you back, all right, but I'm gonna lay you back. This one right here next to where the buttons are, it's an actual button. See that, it's a button. And you push that in so that you can pull it out. It's kind of hard to do one-handed, of course, but that is how you get it out, typically. There you go, we'll set you back up. But yeah, otherwise, this droid is pretty much the same as this droid. The paint job seemed to match up pretty well. Um, this one actually looks a little more metallic on the orange than this one does. It's more of a matte orange. So that's a little bit of a difference there. But let's take a look on the back. Um, same thing about all different droids populating the galaxy. But these are some of the functions. It's got data card, reader socket, BERT acoustic signaler, system ventilation, high power recharge coupling, heat exhaust, that's cool. Duracell shield, quick release fuel, cargo compartment, Kerner optical holographic projector primary photoreceptor radar eye, accentuating coupler, hydraulic arm shift, 
system lubricant filter reservoir. And yeah, and this is a figure that was $14.99. So those are really cool too. But it is neat that this droid... Yeah. He's fast. He's very fast, actually. Whoa. He like he takes off. He's really, really quick. So that is, a, that is a very cool droid. I'm glad I have him. I don't know. Maybe I might change up the paint job a little bit. I'm trying to think if I would customize anything further. I like it as is. I do like... I mean, and it's a little weak that, like... He just uses R2-D2 sounds. Also, that does make it official that I dropped that. Uh, but it, it, it's a little weak that he does just make R2-D2 sounds. And from what I've seen in my own footage, because I barely got to see SK. No? Yeah, I think he did make R2 sounds while we were on the Star Cruiser. I don't remember if he had any new specific noises. But that is very, very R2-D2. You can kind of see him spin around there, get a nice little... Yeah, and that is SK620. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. For 100 bucks, I like it. I'm glad I have it. It's a special keepsake from the Chandrila Star Line, my Galactic Star Cruiser trip. So I'm glad I've got him. I couldn't not add him to the collection. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. It's not a huge, crazy difference from any of the other ones. Um, doesn't come with a special personality chip, so that's kind of weak. It's still a, I still rate it rad because of who it is and the character, but, you know, it's kind of neat. But it's kind of also meh at the same time, you know, I, I recognize that. That it's kind of just like, oh, okay, nothing too, too different or exclusive about it. Either way, I like it. I'm keeping it. I think it's cool. But, yeah, that's it. Until next time, guys, don't be a move milker. Be this work.